Now, the price of buying a home grew on average by an astonishing 14.3% during the year to March. That's according to the Nationwide, and it's the fastest growth rate in 18 years. Nice if you're an owner-occupier, or if you're lucky enough to have a portfolio of buy-to-let properties. Pretty miserable if you're a young adult living in your childhood bedroom, or a young couple sick of sharing and keen to start a family. The price of the average UK house rose to £265,312 last month. That's £33,000 higher than in March 2021. House prices accelerated in most UK regions. But with city living less desirable since the pandemic, price rises in London actually lagged much of the rest of the country. Today's reality is that around a third of first-time buyers and over half in London and the South East are helped with deposits to buy their own home from their property-owning parents. Those without that option are often condemned to years of renting, paying off someone else's mortgage, despite working just as hard. And that's what causes resentment. On top of all that, renting's getting more expensive. New data shows the average cost of renting across the UK rose to £1,115 per month in March. That's 9.1% up on March last year. At the same time, as the cost of living squeeze gets tighter, mortgage lenders are restricting those affordability tests, making it tougher to borrow enough to buy your own home. Lockdown has highlighted the gulf between the comfortably housed in homes and flats of their own and those in cramped rented accommodation. And the reality is the average home now costs almost nine times average annual earnings compared to a historic multiple of just four times. Is it any wonder so many young adults, even as a couple, even with professional jobs that they've worked really hard to get, cannot afford their own home? And that's your on the money question today, a question I've posed before, but one with which, without apology, I'm posing again as property prices spiral. How can my kid afford a house?